Hey there, this is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. How to stop arguing about stupid shit and start having adult conversations. The problem of, of getting baited into silly, stupid arguments about anything. These are arguments about how to properly load a dishwasher, whether or not you fed the dog correctly, or whether or not you wipe the sink out after you clean the, the dishes, or how to park a car, or how to drive correctly. You can think of thousands probably of of stupid conversations that you've gotten involved in, stupid arguments that have flared up into personal attacks and bad feelings and restless nights, stupid conversations about stupid shit that, that boil down into bad feelings and negative reactions and things that just don't do very well for your marriage. If you're trying to save a marriage or trying to rekindle passion and intimacy and affection, this is one skill you have to have. You've got to learn how to stop having arguments about stupid shit. Why is that? Why is that? One is because when we get baited into that little boy mode of ours of wanting to argue about how to properly drive or park or clean a, clean a, a dish or clean the sink or do laundry, any of those stupid arguments that we get into, we look foolish. Not only do we look foolish inside our own bodies, as we're doing it, we hear ourselves and we know that we look foolish. We feel foolish. We feel like a little boy. We, we wish we would have never gone down this road. The other reason is when you start getting into arguments about stupid shit, it has, has this feeling that you're taking everything personally. When a man is taking things personally, when everything that is a criticism, an insult, a comment or a complaint feels like it's a personal attack, it means he's got something going on inside that maybe he thinks maybe he is, he is stupid. Maybe he did make a mistake. Maybe he is wrong. Maybe he's not good enough. And one thing we do in this course is help men understand the truth about your value. Not everything that comes at you as an attack, a criticism or complaint when you're arguing about stupid shit is true. It's just emotion. So what we're teaching you to do is, is handle the finer points of female emotion and knowing when not to take the bait to get into stupid conversations about stupid shit. This way you feel stronger, you feel more deliberate, you feel calmer. You're not rising above her in superiority. You're not trying to be condescending or dismissive. No, we, that's not what we're about. We're about in your own body getting calm enough to know that you're about to have a stupid conversation about stupid shit. And there are very masculine, confident, attractive ways to respond during these times than the old ways that you've been doing it. Believe me, I'm an expert. Thanks for watching today. I hope that helps you just a little bit for the next time tomorrow morning when you wake up and you're thinking you might have a stupid conversation about stupid shit. Don't do it. Don't take the bait. Take a big, deep breath. Close your eyes and realize that there is no need to go down that rat hole. Say something calm. Say, say something funny. Say something deflecting or loving or even sexy. Communicate, connect, adore and desire her. Don't dismiss her. Don't condescend and don't, and don't get dragged down into the name calling and the insulting. That makes you feel not confident and it makes you feel like a little boy right? So I hope that helps. Take care. We'll talk to you on the flip side. See you. Bye-bye.